Let's uh, bring in the Foreign Minister Maurice Payne live now as uh, Foreign Minister. The tensions in Ukraine continue, fears of an imminent invasion. Our diplomats have been withdrawn now. Do you have any sense of how many Australians remain in Ukraine? Kieran, good afternoon. And uh, it is a deeply concerning situation uh, in Ukraine. And Australia has been uh, consistent and clear in relation to our commitment to Ukraine's uh, sovereignty and territorial integrity, first of all. And secondly, our strong encouragement of Russia to continue and to engage legitimately in diplomatic discussions, uh, of which there have been, of course, many and which are ongoing, to de-escalate this very dangerous situation. Uh, as you say, there have been uh, there are a number of Australians in Ukraine, uh, having spoken with our ambassador. Uh, in Kiev uh, a short uh, period ago. Uh, I know that many of those are residents of long standing and have strong family links. And for those uh, who are not and who have wanted to, uh, to move out of Ukraine, we've been very clear in our travel advice. Uh, I'd appreciate it if I can repeat our consular emergency contact numbers uh, here sure. now. Uh, for those who are wanting to call in relation to Australians in Ukraine from within Australia, the number is 1300 555 135. And for those who are calling from outside Australia, the number is one is plus 612 But we have been very clear in our travel advice. It was, uh, it is, of course, at level four, do not travel. We do encourage yeah. any Australians who are in Ukraine who wish to leave to take advantage of what what is uh, currently operating in terms of commercial flights. Uh, and we have, of course, taken steps to protect our diplomatic representatives. Uh, and they, along with a number of like-minded la nations, have uh, moved their activities, uh, their operation, uh, to Lviv uh, in the west of Ukraine. Given just how precarious this is now, and the advice before you, are you worried that uh, the, the, of the likelihood that China could invade during the Olympics before the end of the Winter Games. And if, if so, is there anything more than just supportive language that Australia can offer Ukraine? Uh, Kieran, I think you mean worried that Russia would invade. And, uh, Sorry, indeed, that Russia that, would. Uh, that, is, that, that, is, uh, that is the concern uh, that has clearly been elevated uh, the United States, uh, in the information that it has made public, uh, has been very clear about that. Uh, whether that occurs uh, in the coming days or uh, slightly further into the future, our position remains uh, that, in fact, it is, a, it is not a, a legitimate act. It is the uh, act of an authoritarian regime uh, endeavouring to uh, invade a, a democratic nation and to change uh, borders and governments uh, at, uh, at mm. will. Uh, these are not actions that Australia can support in any way. We have a range of existing sanctions in place uh, on both uh, Russian entities and Russian uh, individual citizens. Uh, we are in a position... Yeah with like-mindeds and have been working closely with them uh, in recent uh, times to identify a range of additional sanctions. And I know that that is a step uh, that uh, a number of like-minded countries will be taking and we will be working closely with them okay. in relation to that.